Atlas Salt is Canada's only publicly traded pure play salt company. S-A-L-T. Salt on the TSX Venture Exchange. Strategically positioned in Western Newfoundland to become an important player in the robust North American road salt market. Rocked by 5.2 billion U.S. in acquisitions in the past year and a half, salt has created fortunes, provoked revolutions, directed economies, and enlivened our recipes as detailed in Mark Kalansky's History of Salt, a New York Times bestseller. Salt is truly a magical substance for which there are countless uses. Without salt, we wouldn't even survive. The human body can't make sodium, but our nerves and muscles don't work without it. Salt keeps us alive in more ways than one. The biggest single use of salt in the United States and Canada is for de-icing our roads, highways, sidewalks, and parking lots during winter. It's a massive market with decades of consistency throughout every economic cycle. Statistics show that road de-icing salt saves lives every year, reducing collisions by up to 88%. Notably, security of supply is a growing problem in the road de-icing market in North America, as significant imports from Chile and North Africa, up to 10 million tons, are required each year to fill demand from the eastern U.S. in particular. Shipping costs from these faraway destinations nations have been increasing dramatically this year, further strengthening the case for developing Atlas Salt's planned state-of-the-art operation that's rapidly progressing through the feasibility stage. Atlas Salt's Great Atlantic Deposit is a huge, relatively shallow, homogeneous resource with a top-tier, high-purity grade exceeding 95%. Importantly, it's located within just a few kilometers of a deep sea port, positioning Great Atlantic and Atlas in the middle of the Eastern North America de-icing market. Great Atlantic is very much a green project that requires no chemical processing and features straightforward planned extraction with none of the risky issues that traditional metal mines face. Essentially, Atlas envisions a low capex salt factory that would contribute to Newfoundland's immediate and long-term economic resurgence and promote a clean environment. Atlas Salt President Roland Howe, who for many years ran the world's largest underground salt mine at Godrich, Ontario, owned and operated by NYSE-listed Compass Minerals, says the Great Atlantic Deposit has the same bones or DNA as Godrich. Howe is now on the Atlas team, excited about the potential of spearheading Atlantic Canada's first new underground salt mine in more than half a century. Having a production capability, new production capability, on this coast within 700 nautical miles of New York City is a huge asset in terms of the supply chain, in terms of the environmental impacts of getting into market, and the surety of supply when it's needed. Atlas Salt is helping power a Newfoundland resource rush, and this also extends into the booming renewable energy storage sector. Atlas owns Newfoundland and Labrador's only salt dome. Fishel's Brook, located 15 kilometers south of Great Atlantic along the Trans-Canada Highway. To unlock the value of this asset and further build shareholder value, Atlas Salt is carrying out a strategic spin-out of Fishel's Brook as a separate new publicly traded company. Atlas Salt, salt on the TSX Venture Exchange, is bringing the power of salt to investors.